Good morning everyone, today we're going to Nusa Dua. Last time we were there we only just scratched the surface, so... We're going to find five new things for you to do on your next day trip to Nusa Dua. See you on the road. The first thing we've stopped at on the way there today is a crazy wake park. Yeah, this is a great family outing. Look at this, it's a giant wake park. You know what, I saw something like this in Queensland 25 years ago. I don't know if it's still there or not. It's a really cool place to learn how to ski. It's like, okay, this is just for fun. This is a little obstacle course. It's a swimming pool, an infinity pool. So you can chill out while your friends are waking. Oh, this is a full-on pool bar. $25 for an hour. The cable is... $40 for one hour. There's knee boards. For any novice beginner and you're a little bit scared of the wakeboard, do knee boarding. amazing place look it's not cheap but what is really to have this thing experience the kids can play you can have a drink you can have a wakeboard fun day and it's so close to Sanua and so close to Nusa Dua the place is amazing bring your family bring your friends spend a day here I'm hanging to have some fun here but we're on a mission today Nusa Dua let's keep moving just one time. Money? Yeah. yeah. Five thousand. If you don't have the card, you can borrow it another before. He's gonna lend the card off someone. I'm sure last time we just paid cash. Last time we gave the guy twenty cents. The security guard and let him through. This is a beautiful road though, and bikes have their own lane. You know what? I'd add this to our list of things to do. We've been over this a few times. Look, airplanes. This bridge. You're gonna see this. Look at it. Next stop on our list is the Punja Manjara Temple. This is known as the places of many worship. So we've come here because I believe there's a church in there, there's a Buddhist temple in there. There may have even be a mosque in there. Um, we're basically in, a, in the center of Nusa Dua. So it's a couple of minutes away. Can't wait to see it. Okay, first off the rank, this is a church. Put a cross. Is that a Buddhist temple right next door? Hindu. I don't know, let's go find out. This place is amazing. There's Christian, Catholic, Buddhist, and Hindu, and Islamic, Muslim, all in this same block of places of worship. This is an incredible place. We've never seen anything like it. Uh, looks closed, but this is free entry, so it's not pay to come in. So these are literally, I think, places of Working functioning. Actually, in war, big question is military all over the place. Look, in there, over there, all in the car park. I wonder what they're doing today. The one thing that stands out is the view behind me. Right, I'll do the next one. Where are we going next? Next, I think it's the Buddhist, Buddhist temple. And it'll have the gold steeple. It'll have the Buddha. Only. So this is tourists come but you can't actually go inside. You just have to observe from the outside. And there's a Buddhist library just over there, huh? I'm sure there's some uh, fantastic literature on Buddhism. Do you think all these places might go off at the same time? Yeah, well they'll worship at different times, like the Muslims five five times a day, yeah, Christian, but... Catholic, maybe once a day, the Sunday. Yeah. This is a symbol of how religions really should be. You know what, in this time of crisis, um, what we're hearing what's happening globally. Come and have a look at this place. Catholic Church. Yeah, the Roman Catholic Church. This one's um, having a massive facelift. These guys working hard. I mean, I can't imagine that you'd be here for hours, probably uh, 20 minutes. This is a great place to get a 
good sense and a good feel of unity and worship. Sam, this represents how amazing Bali is. This is the Islamic mosque. Where? Does this is it here? Check mm -hmm. this. There are people coming in. This has been a great experience. The vibe feels really, really comfortable. There's something in the air um, here that is really spiritual, I yes. guess, is what you would call it. Yeah. <laughs> what better place to have a spiritual feeling than in Bali? 100%. Land of the gods. All right, next destination. Heading towards our next destination is Temple Gates. One of the wonderful things about Nusa Dua is there are beautiful statues and gates and temple gates and roundabouts everywhere gardens and flowers on every street just a tropical paradise here so quiet and calm and most of these statues you can see they represent elements of the hindu religion so one of the things that you can do a beautiful thing to do here is just take the time to slowly travel around the streets ride around the streets and just take in the beauty of what's what's been developed and created here i love the statues let's cruise the streets of nusa Dua. Museum Pacific. The largest Asian Pacific art museum in Bali. So if you are interested in a museum, come and have a look at this art museum. Actually, it does look pretty cool in there. This is just the foyer. Hello. Oh, hello. How much is it to get into the museum? $10 per person if you want to come and have a look at this art museum let's continue on i love the feel of these streets in nusa Dua. honestly there's no place that feels like this and this place is absolutely in the heart of the gated part of nusa Dua. Nusa Dua. that's where everyone ends up staying anyway so it's on the doorstep yep awesome let's go to the next place not on our top five list but great thing to do bonus place yeah, bonus bonus point you get the picture the streets are beautiful they're awesome spend some time riding around and exploring the streets to our next destination. Okay, go. Just pointing out things as we ride past them. Like Shopping said, center. Yeah, like we said in the beginning of this clip, um, we've been to Nusa Dua and we did day trips around Nusa Dua. We didn't know this place existed. It's called Bali Collection and it looks like a great shop, collection of shops. So big brands, Rip Kilt, Luwatu, True Religion. Oh, world's best Cobra. handmade Balinese lace. That, that's the that, Yeah, that's an expensive yeah, brand. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want, uh, yeah, the shops, but also there's the market too. There were markets as we came in, and then we've already passed two sets of markets. There's markets that eye the red of this gated community. And we showed that in our last video, so yeah. you can watch our last Nusa Dua yeah. video. Not on our list for today. And I guess one of the good things about shopping centers like this, even if it's not gigantic, it's a good way to get out of the heat for a yeah. little while. Some air conditioning. Stop you melting. Okay, next yep, destination. Okay, this is the Bali Nusa Dua Theatre. Lots of entertainment to, ha to be had here. Uh, traditional shows, looks like magic shows, illusion shows, I'm sure a heap of other things. Look at this. We are proud to present Indonesian culture. Is this what I do the dead then? Just showing all elements of the show. See the fire in the show? It looks like it looks spectacular, a bit like a circus ballet show. Yeah, I think that's more of what it is. It represents Balinese culture, but yeah, exactly that. Hello. How much are tickets for this show? Prices start from $30 and can go up to $120 for VIP. Ocean Walk is going to take us straight to the Missable Beach. That's where we're heading. Oh wow, the tide's really out. The last time we were here, the water was all the way up to the shoreline. This is a beautiful beach. It's a great place to snorkel in pristine, blue, crystal clear water. Walking on the promenade here is something you definitely have to do. I read that there are seven kilometers of walk 
And a coastline here, yeah. I'll get my exercise in for the day. <laughs> so where are we going now? I think behind this beautiful statue is the Below Hole. That's a great destination for you to come when you're in this resort. I am hoping that the Below Hole is kicking because the tide is really, really out. But even if it's not, these look like they're gorgeous gardens. Green, manicured, little effluence lining the front gates. Don't forget to take a few minutes to relax in all of these beautiful gardens. Sit under a tree, get some shade. So peaceful. Last time we were here, we didn't even get out to this island of the blowhole. We were on that one all the way over there. That you might remember from our last Nusa Dua video. That's why this video is five more things that you can do in Nusa Dua. <laughs> Bali never stops giving. We want to let you know so you can write all these things down next time you come for a trip to Bali. And I challenge you, try and squeeze them all into a week. <laughs> well, well, who would have thought they've got an entrance to the water hole? What is this? It is the water blow, the Nusa Dua. Cool scooter. Represents Bali. Hello. Is this the blowhole? Yeah. Sorry? Is this the blowhole? Yes, for the water blow. Okay, how much is it to get in? For 125. 125. <laughs> We're at the blowhole here. Let's check it out. Strange surrounds. It's like a what is it? It's like a lunar landscape. Not really a volcanic landscape. Geez, I hate to fall in that. It's shred you to pieces. This does look eerie though, doesn't it? Look at the infrastructure, so we've got a platform over there, platform all the way over there, another platform here, so as we can see the tide is out, there's no swell. And there's no blowhole. We're not here at the right time, so, but we still get to enjoy the view. Sam, is that our next destination in the distance? Oh, you're giving away our secrets, <laughs> but yeah. Um, we've, like I said, we've been in Usador a couple of times and we haven't been on that side. That'll be the blowhole there. So one of Mishy's tips is... Come when the tide is in. So please check the tide times. Easy enough to do. Check the tides. It comes off your weather app or go to swellmate.com or something like that. Oh, look how they've shut it off. There used to be stairs here. Du, du, du. All the way so you could stand on that very edge over there. No access to it anymore. Unless you jump the fence. I don't recommend jumping any fences. But like I said, if you come the right time, water will be gushing up it will be spectacular it's a nice walk out to the edge see the ocean see the beaches but this is what it should look like yeah much better this is gorgeous this is amazing it was just so alien so desolate we I like it. <laughs> and everything else is green and then you've got this ugly rock oh, but that's what makes it stand out that's what makes it worth the trip even if the blowhole's not kicking yeah, if you like our stuff please give us a like and subscribe yeah please hit that button we work hard to try and bring you good content we make the world a difference to us the only thing that'll happen for you is you'll get notified when we drop our next video win-win oh, look at this this is the amphitheater where they do the kakak and barong dance here in Nusadua. I'm sure it'll be just as good as anyone they do in Uluwatu. <laughs> Gotta love the amphitheater. We're gonna come here Friday night. I'm sorry it's not happening tonight. If you're staying in Nusadua and you're in that gated community, get out of there. Go up and down the main road. There are so many different places that you can eat. If you want, there's Western food. There's barbecue Katut's Kitchen right there. Katut's Barbecue. That's a great place to go and eat. Get out of that gated community. And get into the streets and eat. Explore a bit. I'm hungry. Coconut, Asian and Western. Hello. Hello. How is everyone? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great place. Okay, welcome. Well, hello, thank you. Beautiful place. Look at this. This is just a walkway down to the toilets, the restrooms. And it's a spa. A spa attached to it. What do you mean a spa? So after lunch you can go and get a massage or a manicure <laughs> or a pedicure. That's good. See, in a moment ago you couldn't hear me because of all the traffic. A couple of steps up off the road. Nice. Back to Mishy. Small bin tank, $3.50. Good, good start. I like that. Is that $20? 30 Oh, grilled barley and sucker. So they're fish. It's good fish, crabs. It's a good price for that. Pizzas. Oh, eight fifty, nine fifty, nine dollars nine. It's um, I would say decent prices. Local Indo food. I um, no, oh, they're 
saute. I am. Oh, I do. a little bit more expensive than they should be. experience with the coconut mesh? I had a beautiful chicken parma, it was crispy, it had a lot of cheese. I was very happy, unlike some people. Uh, the fish was mushy, the batter was undercooked, it was horrible. I basically didn't eat the dish and, and I gave it away. But on the upside, the place was beautiful, the staff were amazing, they were extremely apologetic. After that, they were bringing me out peanuts, they were bringing me out bread. fresh fruit, they were bring, bringing me out what was the guy's a name? Gar garlic bread. Um, they, they really did everything that they could to make up for it, short of um, giving me my money back. Now, there's actually the point where I was going, okay, stop apologising, go away. So, um, Michelle's food was gorgeous. Mine wasn't. Don't let that put you off from venturing out of your resort in Isidua and trying some fantastic restaurants and more wrongs in this area. All right, let's go to the next destination. All right, the next destination is... The next thing on our list is water sports. Water sports. So, yeah, we have brought you to, I think, one of the three main places here to do water sports. But if you're in New do it, it's all about doing water sports. So let's go and have a look at what it's like and what some of the prices might be. Yeah, hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you. We've just come to have a look and to see what type of water sports you guys have all here. All right, I'll show you what we got here. Yeah, that would um, be awesome, thank you. Oh, this place is called Hot Dog. Hot okay. Dog Water Sport, that's oh, okay. my company in Yeah, so there's a big sign out the front, Hot yes. Dog Water Sports. <laughs> So what is this um, 600k for how long is that? For one ticket 15 minutes. 15 minutes? But and that's with the, with someone else driving with no. you? By yourself? You can do on your own. Okay. Banana boat? 15, so they're all about 15, 15 minutes, 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Oh, how long does this one last for? Two time fly only. Two time fly. Okay, that's pretty cool. Flyboard. And flyboard 20 minutes. And that's 1,300,000. Yes. Are, th are these prices negotiable at all? Or yes, of, course. of course they are. All right. Don't worry about it. Michelle and I have been here. We've done that. We've done that. Ah, you've done that. Um, we've done that. We've done that. We've done that. Do we haven't done that because this wasn't around when we did it. Too Tight, low. Tight yeah. Down. yeah. But uh, later on, another two hours, there will be start everything here because the water is coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Can you yeah, check the tide times if you go? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so the time needs to be in. It's awesome. Take your time. One rider out there at the moment. I think this is the premier area for water sports in Bali. Some places are better than others, so I would do my research. She just went for a walk down a little part of the Esplanade. What's it like? You can go and have a look. It's nice. There's a couple of resorts, and yeah. every resort has their own private beach here. So yeah. when you come to Nusa Dua, that's one of, another beautiful thing. Every main resort has its own private access beach. And we have seen people zipping up and down the path on bicycles. So I think there's bicycle hire around here somewhere. That is a recommendation. It's such a simple thing, but it's one of the favourite things that I've done in Sanua. And if I've got to do it here as well, we finally arrived at this beach. It is stunning. It actually reminds me of Sanua. There's a promenade here, a lot of restaurants, a lot of resorts, deck chairs, mm. the water, the tide has come in so it looks so much nicer. And the water is crystal clear, cocktails flowing, sun tanning. This is my vibe. I'm going to relax here for the rest of the afternoon. We're going to have a swim. We had a wonderful day in Nusa Dua. I hope you enjoyed our adventures and um for everyone out there what's the name of this beach manjanak beach <laughs> manjanak manjanak write the door. name here for you but you can't go wrong in this door it really has it all so it's definitely worth a day trip if not several days to enjoy this place come on sam let's go and explore this beach just a little bit of info just to get our bearings see that point all the way over there that's the blowhole so remember we're standing at the blowhole saying so we're going to go there next what Michelle's referring to saying it's a bit like Sanua. This is the first stretch we've kind of found that have got day beds all along the beach. Yeah, you've got the sun beds with the restaurant. Yeah, all the way down there. I think this beach goes around a little bit. I'm actually going to take you for a little walk through what's here. No. Yeah. See, what it reminds us of me. Massage on the beach as well. Yeah, that's what it reminds us of Sanua. Yes. Very nice. Wow. How much a massage? 200. They're 200 here. Yes. Whoa. Yeah, okay. yeah. 
very, very expensive in Nisadua. Other places, 80,000, some are 100. Here, 200. For one. Oh, look at all the sunbeds. Differences with these sunbeds and sunbeds in Sanua. Sanua, they're all lined out. Everyone's got a view of the beach. It's crowded. Here, it's nasty crowded. You just, yeah, <laughs> that's my word, mosh pit. Just everyone staring at the back of everyone's heads. Can't even get to the beach. I'm into the water. For two. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, uh, very nice. 100,000, so $10 See, for that's two. A, that's a reasonable yeah. price. Not like a massage. That was nuts. This looks gorgeous. Oh, look, the moon's already out. That's the end of our day, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed our Nusa Dua top five things to do on a day trip here. Cup of everyone. Season day. Peace out.